We also want to introduce you to the, uh, the Bagua Lion Boxing. It's a very violent yet beautiful way of fighting or self-defense. It's very good for your health as well. It works upon the heart because that's what the lion is all about. If you have in your mind's eye that really beautiful female lion when she's attacking something or when she's fighting, they're just so beautifully fluid so reflexively fluid, their body just moves in all sorts of directions. And, but it's at the same time extremely deadly, using her front paws and her biting teeth, of course. The lion will often hold something and then just tear it to shreds, or hold it and then bite straight into its neck to kill it instantly. We've all seen those things on television where the lions you know, running after an animal and it leaps on it and brings it down and it's instant death. So that's what the lion's all about. It's a, although it's a, very, it's a very sort of a yang type of uh, fighting. But at the same time, as I said, it's very fluid and quite beautifully moving. Just to get an idea of the lion, that's probably the most famous lion posture is that one there. And we do that in the normal circular bagua form anyway. That's the lion posture like so. I guess that represents its mouth or something. That's why it's said to be a lion posture. And so, just to give you an idea, I'll just get you doing a couple of these little... Uh, I will do it in a solo form first, and then I'll just show you how it all works. We always start from the Bagua, the classical dragon posture from here. And just bring your hands over your head like that. From there, up like that. Let's do that. Just stand in that bagua. So, pretend you're sort of on, on the circle again. We're, we have to have imaginary circles in here. So I just imagine you're on the circumference of a circle and you're facing into the centre there. Now just bring your hands up with a, with a little twist right and left of the body and bring your hands up. One's right over your head and one's into the centre. That's it. It's pretty well over your head here. But like the fingers lead, you see? Like an aeroplane, you know an aeroplane when it goes like that? It's not like that. It's the fingers, the left hand comes up from here. It'll come out like that and over. And the same with the other one. See, they both, the fingers lead out over the head. That's it. Yeah, and the left foot is forward. Now just after that, you see, let's just fluidly, nice and so fluidly come into that as you place your weight on your front leg. It's a lovely fluid sort of move. When you do the first movement now, just take a little step in like that, see, with the left foot. Now when you do this, this movement, take a step around into a L step and bring your hands down like this. The weight's on your right leg. And everything's done to the center of the circ circumference. So here, rather from the dragon, it'll go step in. One, two. That's it. That's it. Yeah. I'll just show you how that works, Eli. Just, Eli's just going to attack now. <laughs> Or it could be this way. Here's his attack again. There's the fingers and the neck. And this can go into the eyes or to the temple. Just do it again. I'll put the second part in. Notice how I'm stepping in. And then... That's a glorious movement. It's so powerful. You're hitting on the back of the head here. Gallbladder points all up around the ear here. You're hitting down gallbladder 20 on the neck or the... Uh, the um, bladder 10 point on the back of the neck, which is a death point as well. So, but see how the, how the lion gets his force from coiling and releasing his whole body. Here comes this one in here. Bang! That, that's a coil. See, it's a spiral going out. That's why you have to lead the fingers. It's spiral. And now look at how the body is situated to release this energy. Now the energy is all built up and you just feel like it's... Yeah, there's so much power coming out of your hands just through that release of energy through your body. Thanks, Arlo. Thank you, Ben.
Don't allow your right heel to come off the ground because that's part of the energy system. See, all that energy is now a bit torqued in my body. If I release the heel, I'm losing much of it, you see. So keep that there. You'll feel a pulling sensation, but that's fine. But that's the springs loading, you see, in your waist. That's what it is. Now, I just gave the correction there that you mustn't go like this because the hands are not moving. See, the hands must be moving the whole time. So if I start from here, you see, you watch the hands will not stop moving. If I stop them moving, uh, there's all that energy lost, you see. So I've, from, from this point, I'm, as I'm stepping into that L step, the hands are loading. And now the, the power's coming out of this side, you see, releasing from this side, loading onto the other side. So that's why you feel that tremendous power coming down as you release it. There's one more thing to do to finish that, or two things really. But okay, so from here. So from there, it's step forward and in. Load and release as you place your L step. Now I see how that's now loaded. When you do this last one here, don't allow your left foot to release. Otherwise, you're not going to re spring that in. This is what the line is perfect at doing, but he does it, she does it reflexively. You have to think about it for a while because we don't like feeling tension. So we go, oh, okay. And then you've lost your, you've lost your spring loading, you see? So that's why you must keep your L step from that one now. You see, you're giving this torque in your hips now and your waist. So you can release that with an elbow. That's when you release this and bah! It's a tremendous amount of power releasing. It's a violent sort of an explosion of power coming out. And you notice I'm in a power stance to finish. I'll just show you how it works. He's Eli's attacking here. And then you could also finish that up with releasing that energy back again, straight across the head to finish up with. So we've got a number of different things, but the main thing here is to, is to learn about the releasing and coiling and releasing of energy all the time. In other words, perfect yin and yang. That's what the whole of Bagua is about, but in particular the lion. and you turn back the other way for that one to finish. Still in a power stance. See, we're in a power stance here. And when you release this one out, you just reverse that. So the feet just turn around a tad. So your right foot is now across your left. And that will be a claw, a right claw to finish with. OK, I'll just give you one more, just to give you an idea of this animal. You know how when the lion mostly attacks animals that are, well, he attacks animals that are small lion, but he'll attack a big buffalo or anything. But he, he won't attack an elephant, <laughs> but he will attack a big, you know, like a big wildebeest or something. And quite often the lion has to leap onto the wildebeest and do the damage while he's still hanging onto his back and the wildebeest is going along. So that, that's representative of this, of this next movement. So from here, rather than going like into the proper lion posture this time, we still take the step forward, but we just bring both hands up like that. That indicates the lion leaping onto the animal. And it's a push forward like that, you see? So there's the center of the circumference. And I just push forward and just bring both claws out. You imagine that there's a big animal coming by here and you're leaping out onto it like that. That's the first movement of it and the foot's in the air. So you're into the center now with your hands up like this. Now what you're going to do from here is literally just fold your arms like that. See how the left one is going to come onto your bicep, right bicep and you're just going to fold your arm like that. That's it. Yeah. And that will happen as you leap down onto your front foot. So this is how that happens, look. See how my other foot went around the rear. So from here it goes 